Eve Line, the main character, is a young woman who lives in Dublin, Dublin, Ireland, Dublin, Ireland. How's the accent? With her father. And her mother is unfortunately dead, and she is dreaming of a better life beyond the shores of Ireland, such that she plans to elope with Frank, a sailor who is her secret lover, and start a new life in Argentina. Argentina. See, si? hablo, hablo español. With her mother gone, Eveline, I, I honestly thought it was Evelyn until I asked some of my students. Um, I thought it was Evelyn. Eveline is responsible for the day-to-day -day running of the household. Her father is drunk and only reluctantly tips up his share of the weekly housekeeping money. And her brother, Harry, is busy working and is away a lot on business. And another brother, Ernest, has died. Shame. Now, Eveline herself keeps down a job working in a shop. On Saturday nights, when she asks her father for some money, he abuses her verbally, especially since he's always drunk. Well, his wife is dead. One of his sons is dead as well. His other son is constantly working. He's going through everything. And, well, he turns to alcoholism and then takes it out on Eveline. Shame. Poor Eveline. When he eventually hands over his housekeeping money, Eveline has to go to the shops and buy the food for the Sunday dinner. At the last minute. Now, Eveline is tired of this life. She can't do it anymore. And so she and Frank book onto a ship leaving for Buenos Aires, Argentina. But as she is just about to board the ship, Eveline suffers a failure of resolve. And she cannot go through with it. Without saying a word, Eveline turns around, goes home, leaving Frank to board the ship alone. Perhaps it's this devotion, this guilt that she has toward her father. The title now... Eveline, the title, is the name of the main character, and the story is about her, her life, her relationship with her father, siblings, and Frank, and it just, it's all about her, the main character, and her suffering. Some key themes, uh, we've got, I'd say, three. So death and the different forms that it comes in, religion, more underlying one, and number three, simply being woman. In terms of death, so death is both figuratively and literally discussed in the short story, People who are no more part of Evelyn's life, um, or Eveline's life, are described as though they are no more. But this is not the case in the majority of the people who are alive, but are no more in contact with her. And she describes life before her mother's death better than it is at present. In terms of religion, one of the reasons for Eveline's failure to escape is her Catholic religion. But Catholicism is also widely practiced in Argentina. I mean, the last pope was uh, Argentinian. And her Catholicism beliefs enforce in her that she should be able to make sacrifices. Now, in terms of the theme of woman, Evelyn is a typical 20th century Dublin woman who faces the majority of the problems that were usual then. Now, in that society, women had inferior value to men, not just in that society. Very old concepts, you know, women should be subservient, submissive, and all that nonsense. And this led to the impression... Um, of women constantly by men and women were controlled by men and had no power and it's almost as though you know she needs a male in her life who can support her emotionally and physically and she finds frank but unfortunately her doubt prevents her from breaking the chains and she's not able to challenge the system entirely a setting it does play take place in dublin ireland the luck of the Irish, Irish structure and plot development. So in terms of the climax, when the time comes for Eveline to leave Dublin, the idea of her mother's last few days, they come back to haunt her quite a bit. And on arrival at the port, the ship that was bound to take her and Frank is there. And Frank's also there. And the ship is blowing the whistle and signaling its departure. Frank holds her hand, asking her to come on board. And her thoughts are just too busy. She can't decide whether to board the ship or return home. In terms of the resolution, Eveline feels as if this ship should just drown her and she decides to stay. She doesn't even move when even Frank keeps calling her. The characters for Eveline, Eveline's father, Frank, Eveline's mother who has passed, uh, and Ernest who's also passed. The narrator's point of view, so the story is narrated from the third person and it allows the reader to know both the internal development of the story in the mind of the protagonist and just the external developments of the world. In terms of the style, the short story was the advent between adolescence and maturity. So it's written in 1914, all those years ago, all those years ago, World War I, and she's just largely affected by feminist issues of the time. So the style, again, the story flows quite well with many views on feminism uh, being highlighted throughout. 
Uh, in terms of the diction and figurative language, standard ones, similes, metaphors, all that good stuff. Uh, in terms of the tone, the tone is quite depressing. She has to live a life that is very subservient. Uh, it's quite depressed as well. And the mood, uh, the mood, it's just, it's melancholic. It's sad, it's emotional. Um, and toward the end, she feels a very strong level of guilt for the decisions that she has made. I just spelled guilt wrong. One L. Guilt. Okay, there's there's not meant to be a space there, but that's guilt. Okay, thanks. Bye.